Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you how you can copy trace from MetaTrader 5 to MetaTrader 4. Um, you can copy like anyway from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5, MetaTrader 5 to 5, 4 to 4, like, you know, you can copy any way you like. But for this particular video, we are focusing on copying from MetaTrader 5 terminal to other MetaTrader 4 terminals and in that setup, we also include a Meta Trader 5 as well. So it's like as a client, so you will see, okay? So basically, it's just a matter of uh, where you attach the server EA and that it becomes um, a master account. So if you attach the server EA on the Meta Trader 5, it will become the master and you will be copying from Meta Trader 5. So first, um, I have the my downloads folder there and have this file downloaded so you will get a similar file depending on the license you purchase so it could be personal or manager or in my case it's vip license and uh, this is the latest version we have so if you're watching this later the version might be different file name might be a bit different so don't worry basically you download that from the download center and you know the link was sent to you by uh, by email. So after you download, you will have a file similar to this and uh, we have to extract it. So I will extract it. And this is what we will get. So we get a folder by the same name. And if I go inside, we will find a bunch of files there, okay? So for those people who are not bored, to read documentations and watch videos, you can go inside there. We have an ebook uh, that's in English and also Spanish. And uh, it just explains you the process of how to copy trades from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 4. So the same principles for MetaTrader 5 as well, but I'm shooting this video just so you have all the steps uh, included. Also, we have online documentations and there are a bunch of really cool tutorials and, and videos you can see and uh, here we have installations so this is for manual installation for MetaTrader 4 this is for manual installation for MetaTrader 5 so next we have auto installers as you can see those are four auto installers now, why do we have four of them? Okay, so these two are for MetaTrader 4, as you can see, and one of them is a server and another one is a client. So obviously the server goes on the account that you want to act as a master. So, we, so whatever you do on that account, it will send the trades to clients. And obviously the client installation goes to in a, to all the accounts that you want to receive the trades from that master yeah so this is for metatrader 4 and those two are for metatrader 5 and it's again the same server and client so server goes on the account that you want to copy trades from and clients go on all the accounts you want to copy trades to yeah mm -hmm. Uh, you will see they have different versions. That's totally normal, guys. Don't mind that uh, because they are managed as separate software, even though it's the same, but the code is totally different for MetaTrader 5 and 4. So we manage them like differently, okay? Um, when we code stuff. So first, before we do installations, uh, I also want to show you that um where are my meta traders so look i have this folder that i call my meta traders and i will not go through installation of meta trader okay guys so there is on another video on the, on the website but uh, i'm sure you pretty much know how it's done the most important thing when you follow the installation whether it is meta trader 4 or 5 is that when you launch the auto installer you first click the settings button basically okay you i think you need to accept the agreement and then they go to settings button don't don't just go next 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 that you know just click settings and it allows you to change the folder where you want to install it this is how you can install multiple meta traders from the same broker if the broker is different usually 
the you know installation um destination folder is different so you can install them just you know like uh, uh without without changing any settings but if you're installing a installation of metatrader from the same broker it will always install in the same place and and you know you, you have to change the location for the installation so you can have multiple installations so as you can see i have one for darwin x this one is for IC markets. There's another one for IC markets. Then we have GBA brokers, Scandinavian, Pepperstone, GBA brokers, GBA brokers. It's like here's MetaTrader 5 for Darwin X. So you can do any naming convention you would like for your MetaTraders, but this is generally what I do. Okay. So I type in it's either MetaTrader 4, I type in the number like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you know, and then I add a name. Um, and sometimes I add whether it's a master or a client, okay? So, but obviously any master can become a client anytime you want. It's just a matter of whether you install a client EA or server EA on it, okay? So we just skip the MetaTrader installation step and just imagine I just installed four MetaTraders and I have one right there. It's GBA Brokers MetaTrader 4. Another one is... Uh, uh, Darwin X MetaTrader 5. This one is Meta, uh, Admiral Markets MetaTrader 5. And then we have Scandinavian Markets MetaTrader 4. So as you can see, you have like these different variations. We also have the Trade Copper already pre-installed from my previous setups and everything, you know, so I didn't delete that. But I will still go through the setup. So first, I will go with installing Surrey EA. Uh, for the method shadow five. So I click that, I accept the agreement, I go next, I go next. And generally what I do just to make it simple for me, you know, I don't worry like oh, which one method I have to pick, you know, if I really have to pick, like I need to install this on, I don't know, Darwin X. So I usually, I can input Darwin X and it will highlight, you know, so that's why it's very easy for me to find it when I install my MetaTraders that way, you know, I add a name of the broker. Um, but whatever naming convention for your installation folders you use, I'm sure you will be able to find the MetaTraders you want. Or well, just do it the lazy way, just select all, whatever. Yeah, click next. It will install just on all of them. Even if you have it there, you know, it just doesn't matter. Just override that, whatever. If it's in use, it might open a new window for you saying that, oh, we cannot override this file. So you just click no to all and that's it. So next I install client DA, select all, just simple like that. As you can see, it's like, it's truly really easy, okay? We spend a lot of time creating this installation wizard so that it's very easy for you, okay? And finally, Client EA for MetaTrader 4. So hopefully you was able to watch me doing all that so fast. If you need to copy trades manually and for some reason you cannot use auto installer. So for MetaTrader 5, you do it like this. You copy this folder, you go to a MetaTrader 5, go file, open data folder, and there you see I'm called 5. Yeah. So you have to paste that folder and just you know if it asks you replace whatever replace that's it so this is that's it guys yeah installation is done okay so now i want to show you how to set it up to copy the trades so now we will copy trades from metatrader 5 so it means that we need to go to our MetaTrader 5. So we have two options there. So I will use uh, Admiral Markets as a server, okay? So after just installing, you will not see client or server EA. So you will have to refresh the list in Navigator. You can access it here, view Navigator, if you can see it, and you do it like this refresh and that's it it will refresh i would have them so i didn't actually need to do that but just showing that so i will open any chart 
usually I recommend euro dollar, but it just doesn't matter. And I take my serie and I drag and drop it on that chart. Now, here's one tricky part a lot of people miss when they install it. So in many cases, when you just have fresh MetaTrader installation, it will start like this without an OK button. And this is because allow DLL imports is disabled. Okay. So to make it like a permanent settings and make it your life easier later attaching the EAs, we go to tools, options. It's the same for MetaTrader 4 and 5. We go to expert advisors and we allow algorithmic trading and we allow DLL imports right there. So for MetaTrader 4, it's the same. It's just, I think it's called, yeah, it's called automated trading, not algorithmic, but whatever, it's the same. So allow automated trading, allow DLL imports. So you do that for all your MetaTrader platforms and it will be easier for you to attach any A later, not just trade copper. So I attach the server A. I make sure allow DLL imports check because otherwise I don't get my OK button. I go to input and I input my license key right there, okay? So for this demonstration purposes, I don't need to do that. It works for me even without a license key. But for you, you will have to go to your download center, download page, and you will see the license key like in big, bold letters and numbers, you know, printed for you. So you copy that, go there, paste it right there, and it will look like something like this, okay? And, and you click OK. There is not much to do there, okay? So later... When you will operate, you know, learn to operate a lot of stuff like many new functions and everything that you need some customizations, you can go play around with the settings we have there. We have plenty of them. But for the for the regular, just a simple trade copy, you don't have to do any of that. It's like in a car. Yeah, We have so many buttons and when, when we buy a new car, we don't know what they do. But then, you know, like a a few weeks later, you start getting used to it and, you know, you just unintentionally click them and they do whatever you need them to do. Yeah. So it's like the same here. We have a lot of buttons and functions and everything, but you don't have to understand them right away before using. Okay. So we have the master and it's already sending trades if there will be any opened. Yeah. But on other platforms, Nothing is else like accepting them. So here's what we will do. We will set up clients. So these three accounts, we will use them as clients. Okay. So for that one, I open any chart and I attach the client. So as you can see, it's MetaTrader 4. So it has LTC client MetaTrader 4. So I drag that on the chart and the DLL imports is in the common tab right there. Allow DLL import. It's automatically pre-selected because we have that in the tools options. Uh, we did that. So it makes our, uh, our life easier. And in the imports, we don't need any license key. License key is only for the server EA to make your life easier, guys, as well. And uh, as well, we have so many options and things there, customizations and whatever, but for the like regular trade copying, most of the people, you can just click OK and it will automatically start copying the trades and it will make the lot size bigger or smaller depending on the account size differences. So this one is like 8,000, this one is 17,000. So it should make a uh, lot size two times bigger, basically. Um, and uh, even though the lot size is different, in percentage, it will risk the same. So if we will make 1% profit on this account, this account will make 1% profit as well. It would just be much more money because the account is bigger. Yeah, it's like very simple, basic thing. Uh, okay, so let's set up this MetaTrader 5 as a client. So I'll open the chart and I attach 
client MetaTrader 5. Allow DLL imports, select it, inputs. We don't need to do anything. Just click OK. And finally, for this MetaTrader 4, I open the chart. We can see it has this suffix dot swd so you, you will see that trade copper will automatically detect that sometimes it may not uh, in some rare cases so there's an option to change that but there is another video on that i don't want to over complicate things okay it's like 99 percent of the time it'll just detect that automatically don't worry okay so so we have a master, MetaTrader 5, and then we have three clients on MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, all of them like different balances. This one's even different currency. You see it's Euro, this one's USD. Doesn't matter, it will do everything, calculations automatically. So let's open the trade. So we'll go there and I open one lot going long, and we have one client that didn't copy, okay? That's very good for this example, okay? Because sometimes you will get stuck in these situations. Here's what we do. We go to experts and it says, delayed, let's make it bigger. Delayed so-and-so trade because it violates price deviation rule. So our price deviation rule is five spreads and the spread is very small. So it's like 0.2 or any better price. Yeah, it's, it's just trying to make it a better price or the same price. But the spread is very small. Uh, I think it, yeah, it, detect, it, it detected the wrong currency suffix, as you can see. So this broker has .f. Yeah, I know. This is, this is the problem that we know for some brokers. And it's in the futures, I think. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, it has this like euro dollar dot f. And it thinks it's a it's a suffix that we want to use. And it just detects that automatically. So and because of that, that symbol. Yeah, it's very different price and it's like it's basically not euro dollar. It's like it's euro dollar for futures or whatever. So here's what we need to do for this account. So we will go there and we will say, yeah, I was too fast maybe, guys. So you can click on the smiley face to open settings and go to inputs tab. Yeah, or you can do this. We go to expert advisors, properties, yeah. And then we scroll down to find pair suffix detection. So it says it's automatic, yeah? And we will say, okay, use custom suffix as defined below, and we will not enter any suffix. So it means it will not use any suffix, yeah? And I click okay. Here we go. So it's ready. It will not copy that trade because it's too late already. Yeah. So we'll just another do another test. This time I'll open sell. Here we go. And just open sell. As you can see, it's one lot and it's 2.1 because of the differences in the count balance. Okay. So other clients, they copy the trades. 1.26 because of the bigger balance slightly bigger balance as well and that's euro so it has to be a bit bigger lot size as well and uh, for this one it's more than three times bigger so the lot size is 3.55 yeah so as you can see it's automatically scaling that we can change that there are options for this but i will not over complicate this video for you guys there's another video on on those money management stuff, okay? Uh, yeah, so basically that's it. That's how we copy trades from one from MetaTrader 5 to MetaTrader 4, okay? There is one limitation that we have right now, and that is MetaTrader 5 
should be a hedging account. You can see it says right there, hedge. If it's a netting account, but we don't see them a lot these days, then you cannot copy trade from that whatever software, okay? It has limitations on that. It doesn't work. If the netting account is on the client side, it's okay, no problem. But if it's on the master, then it will not work with MetaTrader 5. With MetaTrader 4, you can have like netting fee for restrictions account. It works.